How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. <clears throat> Had to clear my throat there for a moment. <laughs> like I was losing my voice. So um, today my video is going to be um, my April favorites. Um, there's just a few products here that I'm going to have because I have been playing around with um, different skin care and hair care. So uh, I really don't have a favorite, so I didn't put any uh, skin care or hair care in here this time. So there's just a few things. It's actually not a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple brushes. I actually have some brushes in this one. And I hardly ever do that, but these ones have been like pretty helpful for me in some of the uh, eye looks and the application of my blush lately. So uh, we'll start with the two uh, eye brushes that I have here. So it's a Mal this is a Mally brush here, and this side here I use a lot of times for blending, and then this one here I use in the inner corner just to kind of really work a little bit more of the darker color in the uh, inner corner or up and through the key keys. Oh gosh, in the crease. <laughs> so. Um, Here's this one here that I use for in the crease a lot of times, and it's been pretty helpful doing a precise, um, you know, because it's more, it's more dense. So this side's more uh, soft. So I I do really like this, and this has been very helpful to a lot of my looks. Also, when I'm contouring my nose, I have found this little guy here, which is. It's from my Hello Kitty collection, and I think it was with a MAC collection. I'm not even sure because I've got these so long ago now. And it looks like it says uh, a 219 SE. I don't know. I'm not very good at saying that. And plus, I can't read that too well. But it has just this very little, which it needs. To, it does need cleaned. But it's a very small uh, brush, which I do and I have used this in my crease. But I've been finding it's the perfect size to work down along my nose when I'm doing the contouring. And it's really been working for that. So I've really been liking that brush for that. This you can definitely get. You can get the Mally brush. I just don't know about that other one from MAC. This you definitely can get. And it's a Tarte brush. And it's their basic, simple blush brush that they have. Okay? But as you can see the shape and how wide it is, it gives me the perfect, like it goes, it, it starts so perfectly, I don't know, it just glides perfect onto my cheeks and gives me always a really nice uh, look on my, with my blush and everything. And I just, I do, I really like this. And it's Coffee. All right, makeup. So... I have used this before and I couldn't find it for a while, but I get all these different products I'm trying and I'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. And it's the Too Faced Lip Insurance. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but it's for the lips, not for the eyes, but it's for your lips. This guy here I love and I would, I mean, I don't know of any other company if they do make anything similar to this because uh, it can be, you know, obviously pricey a little bit, but um, I love this stuff to do before I get my lips ready to put on lipstick and it does a great job like especially like today like having a more uh, red berry color on um, with my whole look it helps me apply that so it doesn't bleed out or do anything crazy on me so love the Too Faced Lip Insurance. Uh, concealers I actually have two concealers here just realized it's kind of funny, but I've been using each one in their own different way. Uh, one is, and it's so crazy because sometimes I feel like I have a love-hate with this thing. Um, and why that is, I don't know if anybody else has this problem. Like this uh, concealer here, the uh, Glamouflage from Hard Candy. This is a really good um, concealer. It is a really good concealer. But the problem sometimes I do have is a little bit of oil or liquid. It's a little more liquidy when I first squeeze it out. So I almost have to like put a piece of paper down and squeeze a little bit so that it doesn't get on my fingers. So then I can get the right precise um, product that I want. 
that's the only beef I have with it. Uh, like I said, because I feel like I have a love-hate with it. But I've been using it a lot lately because it is very moisturizing for under my eyes. And it is very great for coverage. I mean, it, it does seem to have... And it doesn't settle my uh, lines, my fine lines or anything like that there. So, yeah, the Glamouflage Heart Candy. The other one is this here, the uh, Master Conceal from Maybelline. This guy here has been pretty awesome. Now, I actually use this to brighten under my eyes a little bit more or start or like put it around the cheek area. But that's what gives me the brightness for like right around here. And um, this is in Fair. I do have mine in Fair. Um, so I really like this concealer very much. Maybelline has not failed me yet. I swear I always seem to find really good concealers from Maybelline. Maybelline so far, hands down for me, in drugstore has the best concealers uh, every time. So that is concealers. And then I have to laugh because I have two foundations. One is a repeat from the last one and the other one's a new one, which surprised me actually, but I have been enjoying it. And the one that I have been enjoying that surprised me very much is the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation. And that's that one that comes with that applicator. Now, I the applicator I don't use. I don't even feel there's any reason, purpose for it, to be honest. I don't understand really, I mean, if... Maybe some people can use it. Maybe some people do use it. Maybe they find it helpful. Um, me, I usually get rid of my peach fuzz of any that I have anyway. So, um, But with this, I actually just use my fingers. And I actually go in a downward motion, even though I don't have, because that's how it says about applying it. I just use my fingers, and I don't put a whole lot on. I just put a little bit on. I don't use a whole lot anyway. Because a little it does so much better anyhow. You don't want to have cake faces. I hear some people say I have to laugh when I hear that word cake face. But um, So yeah, I really like this one. Um, it is quite small and it is kind of pricey. I haven't tried the gorgeous one and I was almost tempted. I kind of wish I would have got it yesterday but then um, I want to work with uh, my other stuff here right now because I do have several different foundations. So yeah, the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth. It, I really like it. I like the coverage and I think I did a review on this, so here I am talking away, but yeah, really like that one. And then I would have to say, this is my favorite. I'm trying to really think, because I do have quite a few drugstore foundations um, mixed with some little more uh, higher-end foundations, so I have to think about But I really think this is my favorite drugstore foundation, and it is the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish 24-Hour with Comfort Serum, this one here that a lot of people have been talking about with the red cap. But if you have been watching me for quite some time, you will probably know that one of my favorite foundations in drugstore, even before, was from Rimmel. And it was the Wake Me Up uh, foundation from Rimmel. And that is a really good foundation also. The only thing is I have to, like, order it from a site that, like, um because it, it seems like we don't have it around here more like around in England and places like that seem to carry it so when this came out I was pretty glad to see it actually has the expiration date I just realized on the back here which that's pretty awesome so I mean like the only problem yeah no pump that's the only problem I have with it is the no pump other than that I think this is a really great foundation great coverage really great coverage. That is what I'm wearing today and mm, love this foundation. So yeah, I would say that's pretty much my favorite foundation right now in the drugstore. Then I also like to use this a lot and this has been in many favorites before. It is the Laura Geller uh, Balance and Brighten in Regular and yeah, I mean, y'all seen this probably so many times. This is an awesome powder coverage. I don't use it to just um, do a foundation look. I like to put it over top of my BB cream, CC creams, and foundations just to give a little more extra something to um, my whole look. And it just it does give you a little more of a luminous 
uh, look. Nothing shiny or anything like that, but it just it goes on so nice and kind of finishes the whole look for you. So loving that. Then I am loving this Wet n Wild um, contouring palette, the color icon. Um, I think I have the light. I have the Dolce de Leach. Dolce de Leach, or however you say. This one's been working pretty good. I know they have a caramel one, and the caramel one I know Glitzy Fritzy Mary had done a whole thing on the Marc Jacobs and the uh, contour highlight from Wet n Wild in the caramel, caramel whatever one, because there's only two of them. I don't have the caramel one. I did pick this one up because I figured it would suit me much better because I do have very pale light skin. And so far I'm really loving it. Um, the contour color is just perfect for me. And then this part here actually, the uh, light powder, the highlight powder, I actually use it a lot of times and just put under, like to set under my eyes a lot of times. And it has been working great for that, very much. Um, and it doesn't settle in the lines or anything for me. So I've been doing that also with it quite a bit. And then obviously the contour, which on me, you're not going to see too well, but it is there. But it does work really great if I get my brush in there really nice and dip it in. And, um, I use like an angle brush and work it to do a little bit of a contour and it's just been working really good for me so um, if you're interested in that video with glitzy fritzy mary i will put that link down below for that video actually uh, so you can check it out if uh, highlighter another highlighter i've been using stila kitten it came in the set that i got i showed in my haul where you get this, uh, one of the lip glosses, and the eyeshadow, which I have the eyeshadow kitten uh, on my lids. And then this is the highlighter. It's more of a cream, though. So I have that on my cheeks today, actually. But I really do like this as, and it doesn't bother me that it's a liquid, but as you can see there, woo. Um, you could probably even use that on your eyes, too, if you wanted to. It just gives you that really nice sheen glow. Beautiful. So I have that. So I didn't do a review or anything on this product, but I did show it in a haul and um, I might do a review and demo and stuff on this because I know for some people it's probably an item that some might be a little unsure of how to use or a little afraid because of the colors in it and it's the um, Too Faced, what are they calling this one? The Selfie Powders and it has the Moon River which is a lavender color, the Totally Toasted which is the bronzing color and then Sunrise which is the yellow color. Now I've used all of these. I actually have on Moon River today, along with some Totally Toasted and bronzed myself up. It doesn't go on, like you're not going to look like a total crazy bronzed person, like with this color. It's not going to go on like really bronzy orange. It, it kind of just gives you a nice bronze glow. Same with the Moon River. Moon River reminds me of the Fergie Stay All Day, that powder that I like. Similar to that, it just gives you this nice finish to your whole look and, you know, covers your pores. Just gives you a nice, gorgeous finish to your face, like looks airbrushed. And the Sunrise, if you put that on, that's going to give you a nice glow too. It's not going to make, you're not going to look all yellow, your face. So, I mean, I don't know if some people worry about that. Like, they're going to look like all lavender and all whatever. These go on, but they go on so well to where it looks airbrushed. And it just, these two, like, kind of give you more of a glow. One's more of a bronzy glow. And then one's just, <coughs> excuse me, one's just a glow in itself. And then this just gives you that, it just perfect finish, airbrush finish. So I've really been liking this. 
And then lastly, these two items here, everything's makeup today, are my eyeshadows that I've been using quite a bit in the month. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, if some of you have not tried these quads yet from CoverGirl, these quads here, this quad here is in, I think it's called um, Blooming Blushes. It's called Blooming Blushes. It's the only one I got right now, but I am going to get more. And if you know of the Maybelline quads and you really liked those, I think you'll be highly impressed with these too on how well they perform. They're really nice. Uh, they're pretty well pigmented too, definitely. And I would say that, try to get this one here. You can see the colors on me there, but they go on really nice, and I think they're just as good as the Maybelline quads that you can get. There's different shades. There's like bronze shade, neutral shade, then there's this one here. It's more pink tones. So I've been wearing that quite a bit. And the last thing is my Kat Von D palette, the Interstellar palette. I've been using this quite a bit too. Um, it just has all them pretty shades that, you know, I like my purples and everything, and some nice neutral browns in there, some golds and taupes, and just a very, very, very nice palette. I know she has another one out that has all mattes that I am thinking of possibly getting, So, because I do really enjoy her eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. Okay, so that is all my favorites. Like I said, it was mostly makeup this time and a couple brushes and stuff, but for hair and skincare, I've been playing around with different stuff, so I really don't feel like I had anything to show as a favorite at this point right now. For anyway, beauties, thank you so much for watching. Got a little tickle in my throat, but thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So much appreciate it, and it would help me out. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until next time, take care.